So short term bullish, we still need to push to the upside. So we've got one, two, three, four, five here. So we still need to push to the upside here. And then we can look at a uh, corrective move here. I do have to say that we do need to be a little bit careful because of this, um, this original little move down here, which would change things around a little bit. We could actually put uh, wave one here and wave two here and then look at wave one coming up to here and then wave two to come back now it it, it there's not a lot of different there is a lot of difference <laughs> but uh, there is and there isn't so we've got one two three four five up here so we could end up just with a smaller version coming back and then pushing up right as as one and two and one and two or we'll have a larger pullback as wave two coming into play uh, uh, for this coming back into obviously this support, this support here, which comes into the 14,000. So it'll be pull, pulling back, but either into this one or to this one here. So we'll just keep a bit of an eye on it and uh, doesn't hurt to uh, look at different counts. And especially if the SP 500 does find support and a solid support on the 4,000, well, then it kind of gives it a bit of a bullish ring at that point and can push up now. Um, obviously some of these European markets and Asian markets have been pushing for the, they've all come up from their October lows basically you know all, all the markets and you know anything to do with China this is China here so also the October lows here and we could look at this as one two three four five here as five waves up um, or we could look at it as one and two and one and two here and getting that nice strong third wave coming in here there's a couple of ways to look at it, but it, whichever way you want to ice this cake it still ends up being bullish right so these October lows this will um, at the end of October so they're all slightly a little bit different but they all come in at that um, October lows uh, in here so earlier earlier here so the S&P hasn't really pushed up as much as the uh, European markets because the European markets and the Australian markets and whoever else um, was more open to China um, without trade tariffs and so on and so on. So um, anyway, this pullback in here, we can go in and uh, have a quick look at that. I think that might have been on the 2K here for this no, I wasn't there. Where was I with this? Was it 5K? Okay. So um, we're still looking for this fifth wave up here. So it's likely that we've got wave three here with an A and a B and a C wave here for wave four, then one and two here. Uh, oh no, one, two. Yeah, it doesn't really count that well, does it actually, when I come to think about it? Oh, we could get that one, two, three, four, five here. Third wave, fourth, fifth, A, B, C here. I have to be a little bit careful here. If I look at this here, um, we will get five waves up here as one and two and three, four and five coming up here. So if you're going to go long, wait for that to top out at 15, just above the 15,200 and then look for the pullback at that point because this is where it can um, come back down here and we'll have to put wave four over here i don't think it's the case i don't think this is the case because we're seeing uh we're seeing the us dollar move down lower so we're going to see the euro um and the pound uh, uh move to the upside so there is that forcing it and this particular move here is corrective so um, we will see this top get taken out so i think it's okay I just need to sort of, I could probably switch this over to here um, and then that would include this as one and two on one and two here and still give me this ABC. So maybe that's the right way to go. But if I was going to trade this, I would now have to wait. If I was going to trade, I would have caught it here um, above this high, but now I have to wait for one, two, three, four, five, and then the pullback over here. So just be a little bit mindful um, of what, how you handle this situation. Um, but we can push up closer to the 15.5 over here with this because we certainly need to take out this top here and if that is wave one here then wave three is going to be bigger than wave one isn't it so we can be you know we can be you know moving up here uh, further now obviously um, with 15,000 we've got 
300. So that's the top of group one of the 15,000. So expect a classic trading levels pattern in this uh, area here as well. It's not going to just go straight up from there. Um, it'll end up going something like this here it'll be a little bit volatile um, and then moving up there for that so let's just see if you get that there first and the FTSE um, a little bit messy uh, here but we've uh, let me just clean things up a little bit we've reached our target area here and done everything we needed to do I'll just tweak these up a little bit so we've got that we'll look at that one two three four and five down here of three an a and a b and a c so let me just get my noggin around this a little bit So that's probably um, one and two, one, two, three, four, five for third wave, and then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's probably one and two, actually. So um, we can go up from there. What are the important numbers in this area here? When we're talking about eight, we talk about group two. So the other end of group two is way down there. So I'll have to go to sub-level. So I'll go to uh, 50 is going to be one. And then but the other group two in here is 80, 60. The seven seven six five, the sixty five number, and this and the seven, all the twos here. That's going to be important there. So I'll just give that a bit of color there, and we'll just come back and chat about this in a bit. So um, nothing I can use here. So I'll just use this. Better double check that again. Definitely one there, isn't there? And then one and two here. I suppose we could go one, two, three, four, five for that. Then that would leave this as that would be uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think that's the case. It doesn't look quite right with this one. So it's definitely one, two, three, and then back over here for four to five. So all of all of that belongs that's all part of the same family and then it will leave us one two three four five to there so that's five waves to there and then we've got this five waves here so that's so it's probably about right actually to put this here but then we've got this here we've got to look at that as a c wave so it's a bit complicated for a um i have to say we could probably come across one more high but i think i'll leave it at that that would be one two three here so um yeah you could go long above one two that's probably one two one two three here so that's four that's five that will be the top of the third fourth fifth here so there's going to be there's going to be a little bit of a battle coming into group like see the six six uh, the, the 65 number here it's obviously holding the market down um this little impulse wave here of one and two then one two three four five here so it's going to be a bit sort of fluffing around up there um just in case i've made a mistake if i've made a mistake then that would be wave one up here and we'll come back for wave two but i think that all looks pretty good there for me so what you want to try to do is look for a classic trading levels pattern on this on the 65 number here so what you're trying to do at the end of the day is you have to ask yourself is that 65 has it been a tested support yet has it been tested and am i going to make a new high you know that's the question so if you can't figure it out here you'll have to figure it out with the high here but i think there'll be two highs here so be careful about that if you can't figure it out well then go on to the 72 number up here for that and if you do take this one here with a very small position look to build on top of this one and this one because we will be going to the upside from this here now we will be we will be we should be will be <laughs> strong words in trading aren't they um we'll probably just need to line this little guy up here as well that's going to give you a bit of grief over here as well so d line that up a little bit better it will be different on different time frames that particular price point but fine but uh in a nutshell we should be moving up and taking this high out here to create us that um 
this wave five over here for this. So basically we should be heading up towards the 8,000. So that's a nice little trade, um, but just building in lightly for all of that, just in case we've got it absolutely totally wrong and uh, we come down. But having that five waves here is helping confirm that we're actually moving up at that point. So not only that, we've got um, the US dollar moving down. Now, this is the dollar yen here. And what we noted with this yesterday is that we had a very clear um, three wave move here. So that makes it corrective. So we've probably got some sort of, we could go an A and a B, uh, so an A wave here, an A, B, C here for this, um, some sort of expanded flat. And then we can look at five waves up here. So we'll be coming down. Here's what we discussed yesterday. And we've, we're, we can see that, I think we're in here somewhere, somewhere in this top we were. And we're looking for the top and we can see the turn here now and uh, we'll be coming down. So it's got to give us five waves down. I don't think this is wave one and two here because wave two is too big. So it's more like a C wave. Um, so it's, uh, it's all part of that wave four there, I imagine. So um, yeah, we've got, we've got a fair way to come down for, for this. So that means that if the dollar yen is coming down, then we can assume the uh, US dollar here is coming down. There's a couple of ways we could place wave four here. I won't go into all that at the moment, but just to say that we will should be coming down here um, uh, further. We should be entering into the 100 here. This is a CFD product, so it's uh, slightly different um, pricing, but we should be coming down. And if we're coming down here, that means we're going up in the DAX, the FTSE, and we'll be going up in the uh, Euro as expected. We're looking for a wave five up here as well. Um, so maybe we could count all this a little bit differently as well, but I'm quite happy with the five wave structure here. It looks quite good, just generally sort of speaking. We can, it's a little bit complicated in this area through here, um, but I'm thinking we've got one and two in here and, and a three and a four here and we still still need to push up for wave five. I won't even go in there because it's a bit complicated. It looks like uh, now I said that I'll need to go in there. But also this one, this one, one here, that's going to be a bit of a... Um, that's going to be a bit of a ceiling there so i mean we still can trade above it and you know but we will be sticking to it the market will be flickering around uh that um that area there for for, for this so as you can see here it's a little bit tricky i mean you can see that it wants to go higher that's one thing isn't it um so this is a nice clean impulse wave here and that's a nice corrective wave so we'll take out that top i can look at that as an impulse wave that is a corrective wave that is an impulse wave corrective so it is building to the upside we're going higher i'm just a little bit unsure about the best way to handle this here um as a as this way for here now um there's other places to put it um yeah i don't know but um, what we're seeing is that these tops here, whichever way you want to look at these tops here, they are now becoming the support and we're taking new highs out on those supports. So that's, that's you know, that, that's a green light for that. So that's, you know, should be trading long and this is the target area up here, even though it can go higher. And also for the, um, the pound here, there's uh, probably different ways to count this move but we need to i mean it's pretty much the inverse of this mess here is pretty much the inverse of the uh the uh the dollar index so um we can look at this as wave one and two here um there's different ways to look at all of this here i've got it as one and two here and then one two three four five for a third the fourth and going up for the fifth then a fourth and then a fifth but at the same time we could also put this wave three over here as one and two and three here and put this wave for, well, where it is actually. Um, so there's a couple of different ways to look at it. I'll just keep working it. I mean, all, as I've said before, all I know is that it's going up. It will have problems at this old high here, which it has been doing. But now we can see this little move here, which is in three waves. So that's corrective. So now we'll take out the top here. So this is one and two here, and this is one and two. So we're moving higher. Will we pull back into here? I wouldn't count on it too much at this particular point in time. So, um, yeah, let's, yeah, yes. Let me think about this. Um, well, um, let me just take that length there. Let me just check on a few things. 
that is slightly longer than that so that's cool so that means that this one can go to here so we're not going up to, so we the the other point here is that this number here the tw the 25 it's really about the 5 that's the strongest number there so i would imagine that we need to be careful about that um i just still want to leave still want to leave my third wave here but it can be the fifth wave at this point but we do expect expect this to push up pull back push up pull back i don't know if it's going to give me the top of the market or we're going to go up again i don't i don't know that just yet but um it, that five is going to hold the market for a little bit we'll just see where it goes at that point but be mindful that um we can be at this point for it um, but we can also look to be further up. We'll see how far the dollar's got to move down. Um, I'll use the yen to guide us um, on the on the dollar, and then that could guide us on the upside here as well. Alrighty, I'll leave it all at that. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.